What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview, and we have the Barcelona Open, an ATP 500 event on the calendar. It's a big tournament for the clay court season. We didn't get it last year. It got cancelled, of course, but we have it this year. Some big names are playing, but some big names have pulled out. All right, going to the withdrawal list, we have Grigor Dimitrov. He's pulled out. Harris, Nick Kyrgios is also out. Opelka and Struff has also pulled out of this one. All right, starting at the top of the draw, we have 16 seeds, and all 16 seeds get a buy in the first round. Rafa Nadal, he's the number one seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Manorino or a qualifier in the second round. Then we have Nishikori versus Pella in the first round. That's a good first round matchup. Winner of that's going to take on number 13 seed, Garen, in the second round. Then we have the number 12 seed, Hashinov, into the second round. He'll await the winner of Nori versus Caruso, who are playing in the first round. Then we have a qualifier versus Herbert. Winner of that's going to take on number eight seed, David Goffin. So one of those tournaments where the, everyone gets a buy in the first round. So we're not going to get too many good matchups to watch on day one. But some players to watch out for. Obviously, we've got to watch out for Rafa Nadal. Also, David Goffin. He had a good week in Monte Carlo last week. And Nishikori. He's done well at this tournament in the past. So keep an eye on him as well. Second quarter of the draw now. We've got the number four seed, Schwartzman. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of wildcard, Alcarez. Or TFO in the first round. Circle that one as a popcorn match. Huge first round match. And another chance to see Baby Nadal in action. Then we have Kopfer versus Mute. Winner of that's going to take on number 16 seed. Dan Evans, who is in Korea best form. Beat Novak Djokovic last week in Monte Carlo. Eventually lost to City Pass. So keep an eye on Evans, of course. Then we have the number 9 seed, Fanini. He'll play a qualifier in the second round no matter what. Because we've got two qualies going at it. Then we've got Thompson versus Gasquet. The winner of that's going to take on number 6 seed. Corino Buster in the second round. So some of the players we've got to look out for. Obviously, we've got to look out for Dan Evans. He had a great week last week. Can he back it up this week? Diego Schwartzman made the semi-finals of the French Open last year to see how he can recover some of his form after a pretty poor week last week. And I'm very keen to see how Baby Nadal, aka Alcarez, does this week in his home country of Spain. All right, bottom half of the draw, the top half of the bottom half. We have the number five seed, Batista Agu. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Simon and Enduha, who are playing in the first round. Then we have Songa versus Jurisimov. Winner of that's going to take on number 11 seed, Yannick Sinner in the second round. Then we've got the number 15 seed, Rud, by in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Ramos Vinoles, or a qualifier in the second round. Then we have Pear versus a qualifier. Winner of that's going to take on number 3 seed, Rublev, who made the final in Monte Carlo last week. He is playing Stefano City Pass in that final later today. So definitely one to watch out for. But also watch out for Rud, Sinner, and RBA because they've all proven that they can play on the clay courts. And in terms of unseated players, I'm very interested to see how Joe Woodford Songa does because we haven't seen him for a long, long time. All right, final quarter of the draw we have. Number seven seed, Denis Shabavala. First time seeing him on clay for the year. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Shardy versus Basilashvili, which is a very tough first round match and potentially second round match for Shapo as well. Then we have Lopez versus Musetti. Winner of that's going to take on number 10 seed, Oje Aliasim in the second round. Then we got the number 14 seed, Dimonor, by in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Fakina or Bublek in that second round. Then we have Montiero versus Munir. Winner of that's going to take on number 2 seed and Monte Carlo finalist, Stefano Sintipas. So... There are some big names here, a lot of next-gen names here, but you've got to keep an eye on City Pass, obviously. I want to see how Shapovalov does this week as well, because we haven't seen him on the clay in 2021. And also keep an eye on Musetti as well, because he has proven that he can play on the clay. And if he can get through his first round or two, he could cause some damage. But I feel this is the most stacked part of the draw, full of dangerous players and a lot of good clay quarters as well. So there it is, the Barcelona Open for 2021. It's got some big names playing. It's a stacked event. It's an ATP 500 event, so it's worth a lot of points. So obviously all the big names are playing. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you have winning this event? Because we saw Rafa lost last week. Didn't look great in his loss as well when he did lose to Rublev. And we obviously have Rublev and Sitsipas who did well last week playing in this one. So let me know down in the comments below. Who do you have winning this one? This is an interesting one for me to pick because there are a lot of players that are in form. Obviously from Monte Carlo last week. Guys like Dan Evans, Kasper Rud, Rublev, Sitsipas. And then you've got Rafa up the top. But I'm going to have to go with Rafa Nadal. I know it's the easy pick. I said that last week when I picked him for Monte Carlo. Didn't play out that way. But I feel like in front of his home crowd in Spain that Rafa's going to pull through. And he's got a really good draw. The top half of the draw, the only real worries for him are going to be Schwartzman, Fanini, and Goff fun. So I think he has a pretty good road to the final. Let me know down in the comments below who do you have winning this one. So the Barcelona Open didn't have it last year, but it's back for 2021.